Senna. Oh. All right, we got the Transformers 1 trailer starring Chris Hemsworth, Brian Tyree Henry, and Scarlett Johansson. Let's get into this. Here we go. So, oh. How long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to you. Uh. <laughs> you know what? We are so screwed. Thought you weren't talking to me. You two, <laughs> come with me. Oh. Report to waste management. Hi there, I'm B127. I'm actually working on some nicknames. The the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron, which is actually pronounced Badassatron. <laughs> um, we're gonna call you B. B. Dang. Know, we're just lowly. We're going really far back. Yeah. Orion Pack. Don't you want to see what's out there? There's a reason no one goes to the surface. Dangerous. Why'd you bring jetpacks? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! I accept those terms. Whoa. Yo, if they show this in 3D, this seems like a fun 3D film. Yeah. I don't typically elect for 3D. <laughs> 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 you have proven yourself worthy. Take these and access oh. full potential. It's almost like Power Rangers in a way. It's time to show them we are more than meets the eye. Uh-oh. More than yep. meets the more eye. More than meets the eye. <laughs> On free. One. Oh shit. <laughs> it's working. Where's my head? Uh oh, oh gosh. these things. Oh, look at the wheels. I need wheels. Oh, oh. shoot. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not good. Oh, we've got these powers for a reason. Let's use them. Nice. That was pretty cool. That was cool. As one. Whoa! Oh, I got a battle mask. It appears with this guy. Uh, oh. <laughs> I have knife hands. I can see that. <laughs> These are not the bad guys. Why did you cut the door? What? No, it was already like that. <laughs> right? Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's right. That tone is not what I was expecting when I heard Transformers. That is no. a totally different vibe and energy, and I'm not mad at it. Um, last night, Achara Kirk and I watched the Transformers 1986 film to re-familiarize ourselves with that era of Transformers. This went even further back than I was expecting uh, to a younger Optimus Prime before yeah. he was even Optimus Prime. And it's got, it's definitely got a youthful vibe to the whole thing that is akin to what we have seen with the likes of the recent Ninja Turtles animation or Ninja Turtles in general. Yeah. You know, and I, I think that has a, a wide appeal. I can see people not being like supremely happy with this given this the gravity that you typically, well, that, that I saw last night with Transformers the movie. That was quite serious. Yeah, um, it was intense. Yeah, there were some funny moments, but it, overall the vibe was like, this is serious stuff. And so this has gone way towards the levity, the lightheartedness, which again, I enjoyed, so. Yeah, I had a really fun time with the trailer. I wasn't expecting it at all, and I really enjoyed the comedy. Like, I like that they have this kind of really young teenage feel to them. Like, every single time we've seen the Transformers, right, mm -hmm. they... They've been around for a really long time. And yeah. Optimus Prime has that like very serious like tone. Gravitas. There's a lot of gravitas yeah. there. And he's just, you know, hmm, he's Optimus Prime, the leader. Here mm -hmm. he's like, you see that, but also there's that fun side to him. And it's really cool to see them just kind of 
learning how to use their powers and it's mm. really awkward and that's I feel like anytime you watch a sort of superhero origin story that's always really entertaining to watch it's just like how do they figure it out because yeah. it's new and weird yeah. you know you know having uh, said what we've said so far there is levity in Transformers that I noticed last night and it's like it's just kind of broadening that aspect of things yeah you know which I think actually works you know it's it gives you a different a different thing altogether than what we've been getting for the past several years, which, to be fair, also has goofy, kooky moments. Certainly, yeah. You know, all throughout it. It's been a minute since I've watched a Transformers film, but, like, this is full-blown, like, comedy, right? Yeah. To the point that it's kind of slapsticky, and I, it's, it's irreverent. And I, I, I think that that's a fun vibe, you know, for it's it's definitely a kid's film. And, yeah. But I think that it's done in such a way that we can all kind of enjoy it together and we can all laugh together. Yeah. Uh, and um, it's, you know, it's like you said, it's his young teenage years, you know, as he, he comes into his own. Yeah. And I was a little bit surprised at the animation style as well, just because I hadn't really looked up anything on this apart from you know a little blurb which was like oh this this is about optimus prime and megatron before they became optimus prime and megatron right mm -hmm. i thought that it was going to be more in line with the older animation style like proper i guess 2d animation like mm -hmm. whatever we watched last night yeah i wasn't expecting this kind of i don't know what you call this look like 3d um cgi animation cgi yeah, yeah. it just kind of looks more real i guess i don't mind it on the other hand i also wouldn't mind seeing like a full-on you know proper old school style mm -hmm. looking animation um i don't know i mean you know this studio ghibli and you know miyazaki films still perform i guess i i never look up the numbers for those but there's obviously a huge a fan, fan base. base there's a huge people, fan base around yeah. 2d animation people love but, animation. but but i think that there is a resistance to it by studios, you know, Why? like, because you just don't see that anymore. Like, when was the last time you saw Disney put out a 2D animation? It's like, you just don't get those very often. Everything has gone in the way of CGI, 3D animation. It's like only really from Japan that you kind of see that stuff. And then like Avatar The Last Airbender was the last one I can remember from America that was like, you know, fully appreciated. So oh, there's, uh, there, I mean, there's stuff on Netflix that yeah, they do. But there, yeah. mi there might be tons that I'm just not aware of, and I'm just not, you know, paying attention enough to that stuff. But I just feel like whenever we hear about 2D animation, generally speaking, it's coming from you know the east, and it's not from over here. And studios over here are more focused on 3D animation. I agree with you, though. It would have been cool to see something in that space again. I thought we were going to get something that looked akin to the Michael Bay films just set in that era. You know, I wasn't expecting it to be this, this. <laughs> <laughs> this like you know? a fun, goofy romp. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it's it's definitely its own thing. It's its own space. And I like that about it. I think that Chris Hemsworth, he definitely found that quality that feels like a youthful Optimus Prime. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I think it's working. So, y'all hardcore fans, let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koei. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.